It's a bit surreal, to be honest. To be here, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, a bit of a dream. It's wonderful to be finally rehearsing at Pier 23 in a real life situation. It's incredible to finally have moved into this amazing space. It's just going to completely transform how we get to work day to day. I think it's special because it's kind of the quintessential Sydney Harbour building. You know, you've got the piers, you've got the history, you've still got the original beams and everything here. All those sort of magical touches like the braille on the walls and there are so many beautiful little secrets. Speaking with some of the builders, that they were really proud of the work that they had done here. So that was a really kind of like a warm embrace when we came in early in the piece to feel that so much love had been put into this space. really lucky to sort of combine old and new. I mean, these rooms are so beautiful. The Nielsen just feels like being inside a giant piece of wood. It's an amazing space. This space has been kind of tailor-made for the orchestra. I think the thing about the Nielsen is the active architecture. On its own, without anything going on, it sounds fantastic, but you can make the room sound wider, narrower. We've got very discreet microphones placed throughout the hall and we can virtually um, widen the walls and lift the ceiling to create the semblance of, of a bigger hall and a richer hall as well. So for us, it's really exciting. It just feels like this is the space for the ACO and this is where we can present, you know, great art and great music. This is our our instrument. We've got these instruments, but this is the ultimate instrument. Oh, it's magic. It's like we've finally found our home.